In the meantime, this stunning Fox News alert back now to the Acorn workers caught on undercover videotape telling a supposed prostitute how to hide her occupation on her taxes, classify underage girls who could be working as prostitutes as her dependents, and apparently willing to help arrange an Acorn housing loan for a house that could be used as a brothel. Acorn workers caught on camera saying it all. Uh, you, could, you can watch it for yourself. We're going to roll the tape for you in a moment. Uh, but in the, in the meantime, we are joined by Andrew Breitbart, who is uh, the man behind the, the posting of this thing online and who is the person who first got his hands on this videotape. He's going to tell us more about the circumstances of it. Do we have Andrew? Hi, Megan. How are you? Andrew, I'm, I'm very glad to see you. Just so our viewers know, we're going to show about two minutes of this tape during this segment. Uh, but first, I just want you to get it to, to set it up for us. What, what is the, you know, to the extent you can tell us, how did you get your hands on this? How did we find out about this? And what exactly do we believe is happening on the tapes? And then we'll watch them. Well, James O'Keefe is a 25-year-old uh, independent filmmaker. Uh, the best I can describe him is he's a cross between Morley Safer and Sasha Baron Cohen. And he came to me with this video, uh, and this extraordinary video, where he p uh, played the role of a pimp with a prostitute and went to the Baltimore Acorn office to try and get help in getting housing uh, to, to, uh, to run a brothel uh, for underage El Salvadoran prostitutes ranging in age from 13 to 15. Now he's expecting that when he walks in there, you know, he's probably going to get bounced out on his ear. He's, he's telling them, I mean, he's not keeping it a secret what he's allegedly looking to do. I mean, he's telling them flat out, I've got, I mean, I've read the transcripts, I've got uh, more than a dozen girls coming in from El Salvador, they're underaged, uh, how, do I, how do I take care of them tax-wise and how do I get my business classified in a way where I can get a home loan is what he's asking, I guess. At every step of the way, he telegraphs that what he's doing, he steps up the level of illegality. It's, it's pretty extraordinary to watch the video. It's at biggovernment.com, which we, we launched today. Uh, it's extraordinary to see how every step of the way he says that he's a pimp, she's a prostitute, she's, she's doing all these tricks, they need housing, they've been, been discriminated against by banks that they've tried to get loans and they're now coming to Acorn to get help and every step of the way they're telling them how to evade the law. All right, let's take a look at part of the clips. The clips run for several minutes and as Andrew points out you can check them all out on his new website biggovernment.com. Right now we'll show you just a bit and then we'll get Andrew to comment on it. Is it against the law in Maryland? Prostitution? <laughs> Anything that the government's not getting uh, money from, it's always against the law. But, but I want to know specifically, if this is, I think, of course it is, because, because they've always called the law, for cops on us before. Right, and anything that's, you know, anything that's in Maryland, anything that's, that's not government approved, it's always against the law. Let me make sure there's a code for it, okay? A code for prostitution? Okay, let's see what we got here. Combination food sales and drinking places. Mm. Business selling food, partners, and service area, direction agencies, credit bureaus. You might have to name it something else. <laughs> Performance arts, let's see. Independent artists. You can be that. You're an artist of sorts, the way yeah, you move your I'm body. I'm very independent. Well, I, may, I am now well, that Sunny's gone. Yeah. Um, dancing? It's not dancing, trust me. Um, but dancing is considered an art. I mean, you know, the, um, like, sex is kind of like dancing, right? Yeah, it's some great thing. So, yeah. I, I, I'm thinking, like, if you worked in, like, in, what's that place? Hustle? What's the name of dancing? Anyway, you work in they usually go under performing arts. Mm. Or, yeah, they usually go under performing arts. Which is, what, what be, what, what you are, performing arts? 8,096. Ninety-six hundred for the year, nine thousand six hundred for the year. You have to have a certain clothing. Okay, so we can write that off. You have to have a certain grooming. Okay, mm -hmm. that can be written off. Um, 
do you provide, do you get like little gifts or like uh, some kind of incentive or something to your clients or whatever? You can write stuff well, like that. Well, I mean... Condoms. I mean, how many condoms travel, did you buy last month? No. You don't travel. They travel to her. Yeah. Right. So you don't, you don't go nowhere, right? Okay. So yeah, we could probably write off... He made nine thousand dollars. We can write off at probably at least seven, eight thousand. This is in an acorn office, and by the way, is that a toddler I hear in the background? You hear children, or at least a single child, but I, I couldn't make out uh, how many children there were in the background. So, but this I is mean, inside so, the I, Baltimore I, I, Acorn offices, Andrew. It, this is the housing division. Uh, this is not the voting division. Right. Uh, but it is the Baltimore housing uh, office for ACORN. So does this, now ACORN spokesman, Scott Levinson, who may be very familiar to our viewers, has come out and said, oh, they tried this stunt elsewhere and they got thrown out and I want to see the whole tape before ACORN comments. Uh, we, right there, we're playing your edited version of part of the tape. Those are your captions that you put up there. You know, he seems to be suggesting that you've misled, that you've sliced and diced in a way that would mislead people as to the nature of the exchange. Your response to it? Well, in, in, in the spirit of transparency, uh, we have provided, I, when James came to me and I saw his edited version, I said, in order for us to put this up at biggovernment.com when we launch, we were going to, to provide for, to the public a full airing of the audio from the beginning, middle, and end, and a full transcript at biggovernment.com. So you will hear everything, including the long pauses in between uh, people coming in and out of the office to help them out, which is extraordinary because you never see anyone bat an eye. When, when, the, the, when, you met, when he mentions that they're as young as 13 years old, you don't see a flinch. Uh, they seem excited to actually help to be able to establish this business and to try and turn this business into a legitimate business. They know it's a prostitution ring, but they're trying to see how they can figure out how to turn it into a legitimate business so that they can use potentially government property in order to run a prostitution ring with El Salvadoran underage girls. Because this is, I mean, ACORN, just so our viewers know, this is an organization that receives taxpayer money. According to our Fox Brain Room, since 1994 they have received more than 53 million in federal funds. More than 53 million and under the uh, new stimulus bill they are eligible to receive another 8.5 billion dollars worth of stimulus funds because this group ostensibly helps lower and moderate income people obtain housing loans among other services. It will not surprise our viewers to learn, it is not set up to help prostitution rings. Uh, so, Andrew, has this tape been turned over to the authorities? Do we know anything about potential criminal charges here? Well, well James is the filmmaker and he's the producer of the film and I have, uh, a big government has no relationship uh, to the video. We weren't the producers of this film, so I don't know what the authorities are going to do about this. Okay, well, as you point out, it, this is the first day of, of, of a significant new website. It's yours. It, our viewers may be familiar with Breitbart.com, but this is a new one from you, BigGovernment.com. And the entire tapes, from start to finish, you're telling us, are, are posted on there now along with transcripts. Yeah, the, uh, the audio tape and the transcript off of Big Government, and you can see James's video, uh, which, which is out there uh, to be viewed, the edited version. I mean, most people aren't probably going to listen to the whole full hour, you know, of, right. of the audio tapes, but you'll see that he's not putting words in their mouths. Right, and we'll have another few minutes of it. We're going to run in full at the bottom of this half hour, and then we're going to have our legal panel weigh in on what this could potentially mean for ACORN, not to mention those workers. Andrew Breitbart, quite a headline. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much.